Hey, what's up, y'all? It's 5M Creations coming back with another 5M server tutorial. And now for this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to update your 5M server artifacts to the latest recommended or to the newest updated version. Whatever ones you guys want to do, I'll explain them once we get there. Now, before we get on with this tutorial, just want to let you all know that for the past month, I haven't been uploading almost a month and a half now. I've been quite sick and I haven't been motivated. So, but now I'm coming back with another video and how to show you guys this, you know, start setting out videos so you guys can get your 5M server up and running. And uh, if you guys want to uh, fi go to my 5M server, I'll leave the link in the description down below. My 5M server is under con under progress right now. Uh, it's it's offline because I'm working on it and uh, I'm trying to make it better right now until players start playing on it. Uh, and if you guys want to follow my second channel, which is technically my main, uh, I post a whole bunch of variety of videos over there. I also leave that down in the description below. And all the tools we're using today, WinRAR, Visual Studio Code, I'll also be leaving those down in the description below too. And uh, also all the links so that in this whole video, everything's easy and laid out and it's clean. All you have to do is copy and paste and boom, you're done. Your 5M server is updated. So to get on with this video, now you want to go to your search engine. It doesn't matter what you use, Chrome, Chrome OS, Microsoft, or Google Chrome, or GFS Opera. It doesn't matter which one you use. It, does, it really doesn't matter. Now go to your search web and type in 5M. I don't know why it does that. But 5M server <coughs> artifacts. I don't know why it keeps putting it in for me. So 5M server artifacts. Now you want to go down to 5m.net. So this is where you'll be able to download them and put them into your files. So click on this one right here. I'll also leave this in the link description down below. And now you have your latest recommended. So if we scroll all the way down here, this is the most stable version, meaning probably not a lot of glitches or bugs. So this is the most stable version so far of 5M. And now if we scroll all the way back up, we have the newest version that they just released but they haven't found glitches or bugs in it just about yet but uh there's, there's prone to be some but uh the latest recommended is telling you hey this one's pretty stable it's stable than the rest so use this one so i'm gonna click the latest recommended there's probably gonna be different if you guys are watching this later in the future it's probably gonna be different for everyone so just depends on when you watch this and uh, so just download the latest, latest recommended. That's what I recommend. You minimize that. Open up your folder. Go to downloads. Oh, go to downloads. And right here. So my folder files are still on my downloads from later on the videos and when we created our 5M server. So for this server, we're going to right click on it. And we're going to extract files. And I use WinRAR to extract my files. I'll also leave their link down below in the description so it's easier for y'all. I'm going to move over, I'm going to right click on the, the server artifacts that we just got, so I'm going to right click on it, I'm going to open it, I swear I am blind sometimes, where's open at, I'll open a new window, so that'll just open it in a new file folder, now from right here, now we can click on our server, so our TX data and server, click on server, and so this is just reading off of your TX data. Those two, these ones are linked up to each other. So I'm going to open up this one. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to the ones that we just downloaded. And I'm going to control A. And you can either right click and copy. Or you can just control A and control C. But I'm going to control A and copy. And, or yeah. And I'm going to you know, disclose that one. And then expand this one. And then I'm going to right click on the server file connected to the TX data and then paste it. <coughs> and so this is just gonna transfer everything over. You want to replace the files and destination. So this is just gonna transfer everything over and this is the newly 5M, you know, the most stable version of 5M. So we can get rid of that. Go back to our downloads. Uh, you can hold control and uh, click on server, the server dash one or parentheses one and then go to the extracted version of it and then control control and click on that so highlight both and you can hit your delete key and then hit yes so delete those 
because you don't need them no more. I'll open up TX data. Oh, my bad. Open up server. Scroll down to FX server. Open FX. Wait for it to launch and load to run the new resources. So right here, that means it should be pretty good from right here. Now let's open up 5M. <coughs> Just wait for it. Takes a minute. Oh, so as I can show you guys again, if you guys want to connect to your server but it's not letting you, you can either connect the desktop or you can press F8 and you can hit and you can type in connect local. Oh, I don't know how to spell sometimes, guys. Local. Localhost. Hit F8. <coughs> 5M needs to restart. Hit OK. <coughs> Let's go wait for it again. And then it should automatically sign us into our server or it's going to make us hit connect again. So I'm just going to click right here to connect to the server, to the server project. Wait for this. Shouldn't take that long. It's a clean slate server. Boom, here we are. Now we're loading into our 5M server. Well, not loading in, but we're loaded in. And now we're running on the latest build. And if you guys remember from the last video, we added the V menu. And uh, if you guys change your key buttons from 244 uh, to 288, I believe. So you can hit M or F1. You go to play related options. No matter which one. Kill me, I guess. But yeah, now you guys are using your uh, latest build. And uh, this will make the game cleaner, in my opinion. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be posting more tutorials. Uh, throw me some ideas down in the description. Oh, description below. I'm an idiot sometimes. But uh, if you guys want some tutorials, throw some. Throw Holy cow, don't ask me. Give a comment down below of what tutorial you would like. Is what I'm trying to say. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Well, you're going to have to make it up.